this spring at Halska Gallery, we have two solo exhibits, Head Blooms by Foster Owen Atkinson and Body Language by Alex Paradowski. So we are super excited to be showing Foster Owen Atkinson and Alex Paradowski in their solo shows this year. You may have seen them before in uh, our previous group exhibits, but now they finally get the spotlight to themselves. So when first walking into the gallery, you will be greeted by Foster's mixed fabric assembly work. Through the combination of recycled materials, we get a chance to peek inside the mind of the artist. Whether it's in his larger scale designs or smaller scale, every single stitching plays an important role. The materials are like everything to me because they, uh, they keep it interesting. I like to use as much kind of stuff as I can and it also gives me other avenues for an emotional connection with the work because I'm usually very aware of where it came from, who gave it to me, how I came to possess it, you know, the journeys that a particular piece of fabric has been through until it like gets placed in a piece. Also, it's humorous to look at all these materials together. I just like the opportunity that arises when you start combining all these different textures and tactile experiences. I was taught to hand sew by my mother maybe three or four years ago, and initially in the context of patching clothes, specifically denim, that I was just wanting to improve and change and customize. After uh, some years of sitting with sewing and trying things and at the same time having a painting practice, I kind of was muddling around and during the COVID time I had, they blended together and suddenly I kind of had a way to get a lot of different artistic um, urges out in one thing as they coalesced. To be in this show is huge because I've never had an opportunity like this before. I'm so grateful for Hauska and it's just a wonderful opportunity to put the work up on a wall and to share it with more people has been beautiful. I'm super thankful for that. And in our upstairs gallery, we visit the crossroads between digital photography and paper making with Alex Paradowski's exhibit, Body Language. Most of the work here now is uh, figurative, although there's a couple of floral pieces, but they're all done by molding paper cubes and then painting them and assembling them. I start by molding the paper cubes in an old fluorescent light fixture grid, and then I dry them with fans, and it takes a couple thousand cubes to do some of these. It takes more time to paint them and mold them than to assemble. I work from photographs, so I have a road map that I've done on the computer that lets me see where I'm going, but actually getting there and it working is the thrill. One of the fun things that I see is when people look at these pieces and they look at them close and look them further away, because close up, it's just highly textured. And as you step back, it really becomes more photographic. So I like to think that this work has two realities, an abstract, kaleidoscopic, close-up reality, and then a photographic reality as you stand back. I've been in a few exhibits here, group exhibits, and my work looks just fine, but it looks so much different here to walk into this room and see all these pieces together. And it's a chance to see figures and florals uh, just all mixed, some with glass, some without. And it's just, it's a different look seeing all these pieces together. We hope you get a chance to come out and see these exhibits. They are open through April 1st, and for more information, you can visit housegallery.com.